thanks for stopping on our channel which is dedicated to central heating and as you can see I've been doing this a long time whether you install or you have heating hopefully my videos will make a difference but please leave me a comment in the section below lights action camera let's begin Room thermostat. Here's a question. Who's the best person to turn this up and down and control the heating system? Is it the man of the house, the woman of the house, mother-in-law, cuddly toy, or just anybody who feels cold, they turn it up, they feel hot, they turn it down. Answers in an envelope with 50 pounds will be very helpful. Or I'll tell you later, who really should be touching this and nobody else. Obviously a good room stack in the right location is absolutely crucial for the system to work as economically as possible and obviously cost less than it should do. But for some reason in, this, in the UK, we don't seem to get that message. In Europe, in the 90s and earlier, they banned 230 volt room stats. And here's a good example of a Honeywell Residio, which is an absolutely brilliant stat, but it costs more to run than their digital version, which is what they install and have done for over 20 years. But in this country, no, I don't know why. If you go into a new build, more often than not, you'll find a room thermostat, 230 volts, in the hallway. That's got to be the worst place on the planet. They also specify them, housing associations and other organisations, council flats, etc. They seem to employ people that have no concept of reading installation manuals of the products. And here's a good example of a typical house where the thermostat is put on the staircase, yeah, believe it, staircase, just in front of the door. So every time the door opens, the boiler fires up for about 15, 20, 30 minutes, depending how far away it is. And quite often, as in this case, the boiler is upstairs on the landing. So not only has some electrician or installer had to take 10 meters of wire across the house, down that wall to the thermostat, but the thermostat is located in a draft. And obviously we all know you don't do that. You don't put a thermostat where the sun shines on it. You don't put it in a draft. You don't put it in a hot place or a cold place. It's located in a room because that's what it's called. It says so on the box. And inside the box, you'll get a leaflet. And it quite clearly has a picture. And the picture is, for most of us, a lounge. But for some installers and some specifiers, they seem to think, sharp bother. We'll put it in the front room, no. Put it in the hall, yes. Aren't I brilliant? No. Now here we've got a rig, which is the Honeywell Y-Plan mid-position valve. Very popular, very good. And it consists of a two-channel programmer, one for heating, one for water, and then the two thermostats. Every system in the world has to have a zone. One is for hot water, one is for heating. And sometimes the heating might be split in two zones or three zones, but each one has to have time temperature control here now if you've got this system you've got your two channels and here's our old-fashioned room thermostat which is getting on a little bit we can quite easily change it to this digital one which is much sharper and it's got economy settings and you can even make this 
wireless because there is a wireless version for this as with all the manufacturers they'll do that and this is a very simple inexpensive upgrade that will save an awful lot of money and increase the lifespan of the boiler because it'll work less it'll work smarter with this than with that many manufacturers have got their own controls this is a good example where Worcester Bosch used to make this front panel and a wireless programmer, but they were actually made by Drayton. And this is a Worcester Junior or the SI range. This is still available because instead of having Worcester on the front, it's now got Drayton, who are the original and still the manufacturers. So if you have one of these boilers or you're an installer, then suggest that they can have this fitted for not too much money, but it will save a fortune and prolong the life of this machine. And this is a very simple upgrade. If you're waiting for a new boiler to install, always specify the factory controls because they are dedicated to saving you money. It makes the boiler smarter and cheaper to run. And don't take no for an answer. Boiler controls with the boiler. One of the biggest faults and dangers is when installers use these 230 volts thermostats, as you can see on the drawing. It requires two lives and a neutral which often doesn't happen. And what they'll do is they'll use just a, a, a live neutral and maybe an earth, and maybe an earth if you're lucky, which they chop off. But that means that the blue wire is carrying voltage, which is not allowed, it's strictly illegal because it's dangerous. So make sure that um, all the controls, especially when the installers are there, that we don't use any electricity voltage on the blue anywhere on a heating system because it makes it go haywire. Now this flex doesn't really exist because there are either four wires or five wires plus an earth. That's very expensive. Installers won't do that. They'll use a, a brown and a blue to carry the voltage in here. And the result of this thermostat and all 230 volt thermostats will be the same. You'll have very high temperature rises and it will overshoot, as you can see on the diagram. It could overshoot by three, four, five, or even six degrees. So the older this is, the more degrees it overshoots. So you dial 20, it won't switch off until the place is 25. And if this is in the hallway, just forget it. It's never going to switch off because it's never going to be 25 degrees in any hall. So one of the biggest mistakes is this. To fix this problem is dead easy. All we do is change it for any digital one. The blue wire is sleeved or insulating tape, normally yellow, sometimes black we use, to make sure that anybody coming in will see, ah, right, they've used the blue to carry voltage. It's not a problem as long as it's highlighted. So now digital stats have one wire going in and one wire going out. And of course, we all know digital stats are much sharper than these are. So make sure that if you are an installer and you see this wiring, that's fine. But if you don't see this wiring, change it for a digi. The answer to the question that I asked earlier, who's the only person can touch this thermostat? The answer is the lady of the house and nobody else because women are far more in tune with their temperature changes throughout their lives and the environment. But in my wife's house, she's in charge of this device because when she's happy, I'm really happy. There's the answer. Let the lady of the house control the heating.